Hello everyone, and today I'll, I will be running you through a uh, basic tutorial of how to move uh, a character around in a new Scratch project. So I'm going to make a new project here, and I'm just going to name this Cat Moving. So everything that happens inside of the Scratch editor or anything that happens in the game uh, happens when an event is called. These events could include uh, the green flag being clicked, which is up here. The This usually has all the things to start the game or to reset the game. It could also include um, when a variety of keys is pressed. So you can set this to say when A is pressed it'll do whatever um, is underneath it. You can also have when the sprite is clicked, as well as a variety of other things. But for right now, we're going to use the uh, key inputs. So um, if we imagine uh, key inputs to move the cat around, we're probably going to think of um, arrow keys. So I'm going to set this one to be the right arrow key and when the right arrow key is clicked I want it to do something and I want that thing to be uh, moving the cat so we're going to go into motion and we're going to go and we're going to look for uh, change x by x refers to the position of the sprite along the x-axis which runs left and right so by changing x by 10 we're going to move it over uh, 10 pixels to the right so if we try hitting the right arrow key, the cat will jump over 10 pixels each time. To have the opposite of that, um, I'm going to right click on this script and hit duplicate. And then change this to left arrow. And change the change x by 10 and make it negative 10. That'll make it move uh, 10 pixels in the opposite direction. So if I hit the left arrow key, it'll jump back. To have up and down movements, we're going to duplicate both of these and change the right arrow to be the up arrow and the left arrow to be the down arrow. So now, oh wait, I almost forgot, uh, we need to change these to change Y by. Because um, for the up and down arrow keys, we're no longer moving the x-axis, but we're moving the y-axis, which means up and down. So the up arrow should change y by 10, but the down arrow should change it by negative 10, because we're moving in the opposite direction. We're taking, we're subtracting its position. So now, all arrow keys should work. One other thing uh, to introduce you to uh, something like the green flag. Um, when the green flag is pressed, we want uh, everything to reset. So um, we can go into motions and select the go to block and attach it to the green flag and just type in zero, zero. So now every time we hit the green flag, it'll center the sprite.